All right, so today I'm in Queen Creek, Arizona, looking at a uh, 2010 Tiffin Phaeton. Now, this is a nice Phaeton. Uh, I don't think this inspection is going to go bad at all. Uh, I'm going to get on the roof and take a look at the roof on this thing. So it's 11 years old now. We'll see how it's held up. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to assume, based on my knowledge, it should be a fiberglass roof and it should use self-leveling uh, silicone sealant on the roof. Uh, same stuff Winnebago uses, the new Flex 311. There's one one thing I'd like to point out on this era Tiffins that's a very, very common problem and it's actually a pretty expensive one. And uh, it's good to know about it before you uh, you buy one. Or if you have one, to know about it so it doesn't cause you problems. So we'll take a look at that first and then we'll get up on the roof and see what's going on. So first things first, let's get these slide out. Get the slide outs out so we can take a look at the slide out toppers too. So these Tiffins, they have it set up with uh, the passenger sides are going to be hydraulic slide outs. And then the uh, driver sides are going to be electric. It's just how they able to package it. And then for some reason, some years the ignition has to be on for the, uh, slide, uh, the, the electric slides to work. And then the next year the ignition has to be off. Let me turn that off so you don't have to hear it. That one's out. This is, this looks like it's brand new. It just came from the factory. I've never seen one this nice. It only has like 37,000 miles on it too. Someone's getting a really nice motorhome. So four slides, two electric slides on the driver's side, two hydraulic slides on the uh, passenger side. Go outside. Well, first thing we're going to look at, we won't bother with the slides yet. Uh, this water bay compartment right here. It's really, really common for these, for the floors of these uh, compartments to rot away and fall apart. So this one, I don't know if you can see how it's all white. Or all white. So somebody's changed this out. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, focus on this next compartment. It looks like more like woven material. It's going to be on top of like uh, OSB. And Tiffin for a number of years used OSB with this uh, Darko wrap on it in this water compartment. And this whole compartment would just rot away. This floor would just fall out. So that's the first thing I always look for on these uh, era Tiffins. But somebody's already went ahead and uh, fixed that problem. This is the water bay right here. This is where you hook up water to. Your fresh water tank's gonna be right there. And Tiffin has it, has it set up so you can see the sewer. This is the black tank and the gray tank. They're right above the uh, fresh water tank. But they usually have a uh, this uh, plastic tub for where the water would, would get cap captured. And then this area right there would be where it would start rotting out. And then in order to actually replace that entire uh, floor right there you'd have to completely pull all this out pull the fresh water tank out the other way uh, sometimes you get away with leaving the, the holding tanks in there the black and gray tanks in there and do the floor but either way it's a big job so it's always good to inspect this on a tiffin but enough of that let's get on the roof and see what this roof looks like I'll just use the uh, ladder here Yeah, so if we look at this roof, this is a the fiberglass cap. The paint looks pristine. That's crazy. I didn't see any problems with the uh, sidewalls either. Uh, so this is New Flex 311, so self-leveling silicone. This stuff's really, really durable. It's a high-quality sealant. <sighs> I'm not quite happy with probably what I'm going to see here, right? Somebody used a, a die core on top of it, so there's no reason to use die core on 311 because it's not going to stick. And the thing is, it didn't even need to be sealed. The sealant was fine underneath there. So, yeah, that was weird. 
So this is Dicor acrylic sealant. It will not stick to, uh, to the self-leveling silicone. So don't even waste your time using it. What you can see over here is also somebody's done a repair. I've only had to do this repair once on a Tiffin. I don't know if you can see all these rivets. The fiberglass radius that they would have had right here, it failed. That's really a common problem to find on these. So all the way down, this get, the, the radius gets cut off. Because this is a gel coat uh, fiberglass roof. It's not like a Winnebago Phylon roof. Um, so that gets cut off. This aluminum right here, it's formed, comes straight from Tiffin. And it gets put on in one piece underneath the, the deck right here using the epoxy adhesive. And then this gets riveted down to the framing. So it's still, it's kind of seamless because this radius is count way back underneath right there. So this seals up pretty well underneath there. I didn't see any sign of leaking inside yet. So somebody's already had a, the factory, I wouldn't call it a recall, but it's the factory improvement done on that. So this entire driver's side was done. See it from there to there. Passenger side from here up to the awning right here. That's a pretty rare thing to have to do. Like I said, I only did it once. But yeah, there's no reason to take this entire awning off the entire way just to do the roof radius under there. So that's a pretty interesting find right there. So we'll just continue on like we normally would. All right, so we'll make note of wrong sealant right there. We'll look at our, this is just gonna be a sealant. Uh, this is just gonna be silicone between that uh, radius and the gutter. It doesn't look bad at all. But yeah, this is aluminum. This fabric's worn, but it's not in horrible shape on the topper. Come to the AC. I'll lean against it. I don't see any issues. Condenser coils look fine. Come over here. There is a hole in the awning fabric right there. So we'll make note of that. Take a look at the sealant. It might be a little bit of a gap right there. Guess we could recommend resealing that. It's got the uh, vent covers under here that wrap around. I don't see any issues there. This roof is immaculate. So this is a fiberglass roof. It's hard to see. There's texture right here for this walking path. And there's gonna be texture uh, right here for that walking path. It's just difficult to see. I, mean, I could say I could probably use a, a wax, but that's about all I can see on the roof. Again, self-leveling new flex sealant. It's very, very strong. It's good stuff. It should not crack. Well, take a look at these. These skylights are prone to cracking too from uh, Tiffin, but they are still available. Don't see any issues there. Owning looks good. Uh... Well, that sealant sticking. So I guess that looks fine. Right, so this has this would have been the original. TV antenna that Tiffin would have installed. I honestly thought they were good antennas. I've never had an issue with them. The, this is a new Weingard 360 TV antenna. I'm going to guess this sealant didn't stick. And I think I guessed correctly. Yeah, I'd probably want to clean that off and reseal that a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, this looks like uh, comes in an orange tube RV roof sealant. I don't really care for this stuff. It uh, it's very watery and then it turns yellow and brittle pretty fast. So it'll stick to uh, the roof just fine. It'll stick to fiberglass fine. All right. 
right, this fabric might be worn, but I'm not seeing any issues with it. I mean, a little issue right there, but nothing I'm going to stress out about. I don't see any other issues with the sealant over here, or the sealant over here. CB antenna, radio antennas are all there. Take a look at the front cap. Front cap looks good, and we'll look at those lights. These lights aren't prone to cracking on these. And uh, I guess that just leaves a... Alright, so I'm not seeing any uh, sealant gaps here. Top, it looks fine too. Check this AC. That AC is fine. Satellite antennas, wine guards are actually still really reliable. They still work. And this is an in motion, you can tell because it's got a GPS antenna on it. All right, it's going to be important to do the uh, the step test again and make sure that uh, that molding's not loose between the uh, rear cap and the roof. Doesn't seem loose. And uh, the front cap. Normally, if it is loose, you'd see these screws popping up because they're getting pushed back up again, or you'll see an actual gap. I guess that's pretty much it, guys. There it is a roof of a 2010 Tiffin Phaeton. All right, let's get on the roof and go inside. So that was uh, inspecting the roof on a 2010 Tiffin Phaeton. We uh, took a look at that water compartment bay. That's in great shape. The floor did not need to be replaced. As far as the roof goes, we actually found uh, one of the rare roof repairs that Tiffin uh, needed to have done on them. And that was a factory repair. That's a really solid repair, to be honest, because those rivets go down into steel framing in the roof, uh, compresses, the roof, the deck, that uh, aluminum radius that they add to that to the steel frame in the roof. So it looks like that that repair was done very very well. I only found am I getting the wrong sealant. The only thing that will stick to that new flex 311 is new flex 311. So you got to be careful on that. Even the ones that say universal roof sealant, they're not going to stick to 311. Uh, we had a torn. A, a hole in the uh, slide out topper see what they want to do on that and a little bit of a sealant gap on roof molding on the driver's side and of course at that tv antenna because incorrect roof uh, roof sealant again other than that this that thing is pristine 11 years old i didn't see anything really wrong with it so as long as you're taking care of your coach these roofs do last so i don't have time to uh take you through this coach right now so you'll just have to do a quick little look behind my head there it's uh uh, pretty modern. It's ready to go. Has everything you want. I, I'm really surprised how. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna find anything wrong with this inspection. But I have about 15 things to do today, and even more to do tomorrow. I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, uh, oh, uh, one thing I did want, forget to tell you guys is, uh, just uh, I, I, for fun, I started a TikTok channel. Uh, I think I'm AZ expert or AZ RV expert on TikTok. Uh, I do really quick uh, one-minute walkthroughs on these coaches because I don't have to edit it, and it's really fast and easy to do. If you want to go see some of the stuff I'm working on, sometimes I throw up some of my repairs, so that's over on the TikTok app. I'll see if I can't find a way to link to it. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Two thousand and ten. Tiffin Phaeton, 36,000 miles, four slide outs, 8,000 watt generator, Freightliner chassis, Cummins engine, no diesel exhaust fluid, ceramic tile from the front to the bathroom, two sofas, this sofa turns into an air bed, that sofa flips out into a bed, this dinette does extend out, has a residential refrigerator, full solid cabinet, cherry wood cabinetry, four TVs, two in the front, a bedroom and an exterior TV. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen with dual sink, three burner propane stove, convection oven microwave, walk-in fiberglass shower,
private sink in the bathroom, another sink and shower, another sink and toilet in the mid bath, king size bed, with storage underneath, carpet in the bedroom, and all right, guys, just letting that uh, go through this one last cycle. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't find anything wrong with this thing. I mean, I've had a, a few things, but this thing is better than uh, when it came off the factory line in 2009, 2010. This thing is pristine. I'm really excited to do inspections on stuff this nice. Wow, that was enjoyable.